So Bill, we both sat on the National Academy of Social Insurance's Economic Security Study Panel, which covered a wide range of social infrastructure programs. And you are one of our nation's leading experts on unemployment insurance. Um, can you talk to us a little bit about how unemployment insurance and other income supports affect the macro economy? We learned a very big lesson this time about what unemployment insurance is capable of doing. So thank you very much for having this important session and for asking me to speak on this. By adding additional money to provide a higher replacement rate for unemployment than is typical, we learned some key things. First, we knew going into this that people with low liquidity, those who had low savings, the proverbial family that couldn't meet a $500 unexpected expenditure. Well, those families, when you give them an unemployment check, rather than spend it, as many of us think they might, instead, they instantly start to save and build up precautionary savings. They're very aware and acutely aware that they don't have liquidity and their instinct is to use that check to help build that liquidity in a moment of economic panic. By giving additional money, we found that in fact, we could get low income families to spend the money. And very importantly, because of the peculiar nature of the distribution of personal services in low income neighborhoods versus high income neighborhoods, and this downturn, by keeping the consumption of low income families up, in fact, returning to their pre-pandemic level, we lost fewer low wage service sector jobs in low wage neighborhoods than low wage service sector jobs in high wage neighborhoods. And that's because of course, there's a difference in services. People in high income neighborhoods go to spas and, but, this kept a lot of jobs in place and in neighborhoods where jobs were scarce. This is very important. The other thing is every downturn, the difference between the replacement rate from an unemployment check and from social security disability is huge. By helping workers with additional money to their unemployment check this downturn, surprisingly, even though we lost 20 million payroll slots in February, the biggest drop in US economic history, applications for disability insurance collapsed during this period. It didn't spike like we've seen in all other downturns. During the Great Recession, applications for disability insurance spiked greatly. That did not happen. The good news is, workers who are on unemployment stay involved searching for jobs attached to the labor market. So actually, surprisingly, the unemployment insurance not only, as Hillary pointed out, not only did it not discourage work, it encouraged continued attachment to the labor force, did not tax the social security system. These are key and important things. We ignore because we get so hung up. I think Hillary had it very right. We get so hung up in a normal economy. What does unemployment do? But in a crisis, unemployment is the automatic stabilizer that saves us. Congress stepped in because it would have been inadequate in this downturn. We need to learn some lessons from this downturn because of the success that we had this time. 